What's up YouTube, it is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for The Real Housewives of New York City Season 13, is that correct you guys? Episode 4 and it's titled Putting the Tiff in Tiffany's Alright you guys, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel And you're not already subscribed to the channel, do me a silent favor and hit that subscribe button And just stop taking me out on a date and not paying for it at the end of the day so, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this episode review, shall we? Alright you guys, so the episode, it opened up where we last left off. You guys remember, they went out to dinner and Ebony was talking to Sonia's friend on the phone about, you know, her, um, her, her loan through the bank. And you guys remember that Ramona was talking about the fact that Wells Fargo has cheaper rates than JP Morgan and that sent Sonia in a tizzy. Sonia, honest to God, you really got to laugh and drink and like, it's not a good look. Like, you get drunk and then the first mention of a family that you're no longer a part of, you flip the hell out, which never makes any sense to me. I don't get why you go so banana ballistic over the Morgan family. Are they paying your bills? Are they doing anything for you? Now, I get it. Your daughter's a Morgan, but my love, you're not. So I, again, like I said, just don't get it. I really want Sonya to get some help. Now, Luann walked out behind Ramona, told because she told Ramona, like, Ramona, you, you need to get out of here, which I agree with her. And then she followed behind Ramona and let Ramona know, like, Ramona, you provoked that situation, which 1,000% Ramona provoked that situation. You see that this woman over here is getting lit by the minute, and then here you come with this dumb shit. That's like poking a bear, at the, a sleeping bear. You saw that Sonya was getting belligerently drunk, drunk and drunk and drunk. And then you go and mention that Wells Fargo has cheaper rates. You wanted a reaction, Ramona. You can't tell me that you didn't. You wanted a reaction out of Sonya, which I don't get why, but the f it was it was definitely you provoking her. Um. Now, Luann, here's where Lou lost me. Lou was talking about she needed to leave because she couldn't be around that situation. More specifically, Sonya and her drinking, but you had been around them all damn day and she had been drinking all damn day. What changed between earlier in the day and that and then? Yes, Sonya got, you know, like I said, she got more alcohol in her system, but what was the difference? The woman had been drinking all day. Y'all went to a winery, then you guys went to the, went shopping, and, it, and from what it looked like at the shopping expo that y'all went to, she was drunk there. So what the hell changed between the winery, shopping, and now here, where she continued to drink? Make that make sense to me, Lou. Like, I get what you're saying, but it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense to me, just keeping it 1,000% real with you. But they all end up leaving and going home. So then the next morning, we see Ebony and Leah. So Leah is talking to her sister, and Ebony is talking to her mother. Now, they're both talking about their grandmothers. And it seems like, which I think they said that this, I think they've said this, but especially when it comes to Ebony's grandmother. So it sounds like Ebony's grandmother is literally at the end. And her mother, Gloria, is that what she said her name is? I don't want to be mispronouncing people's name, but Ebony's mom wants Ebony to make the decisions when it comes to her mother. I'm like, oh, wow. So you want to put that on your daughter? Okay. Wouldn't be me. And then with Leah, Leah talking to her sister. Now, um, they're talking about who's going to go visit her grandmother. Um, okay. I was kind of lost with that conversation, so I'm not going to go too deep into it. Then we see Ramona and Sonya, so they wake up together and they're talking. And I mean, what Ramona said to Sonya was some real stuff. Some real stuff. But like I said, and like I said a few minutes ago about Ramona, Ramona was antagonizing. She was provoking. She knew what she was doing. But at the same time, Sonya does have some issues. And I think it's just the fact that Sonya doesn't want to be alone, like. Um, Ramona kept trying to say that, you know, Sonya is jealous of Garth. Do I believe that? 
I don't know if she's jealous of Lou and Garth more specifically. I just think that she might be a little bit envious that Luann has someone there. But I mean, I think Garth might just be a good time for Lou. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I think that Garth is just a good time for Lou. I don't think Lou is in love with Garth. I think Lou likes how, you know, handsome Garth is. These are her words, not mine. I, li I think she likes how handsome he is. I think she might like how good he is in bed. That's what I think it is with Lou and Garth. I don't think it's anything serious at all. But, um, yeah. All right, let's, yeah. So, we see Ramona and we see Sonya. Not Sonya, but we see Ramona and Luann. They're downstairs and they are setting the table. So, I'm guessing it's for dinner later that night. And Leah walks downstairs. Now, mind you, at the same time, Lou, um, Lou and, Ra and Ramona are having a conversation about Sonya and her drinking. So Leah walks in and she's like, did I walk in on something? And Ramona's like, um, can you come back in like five minutes? Now, I've been thinking about this all night because I was like, I, I, I got what Ramona was saying, that she was having a private conversation with Luann about, some, but see, you guys are all in a, in a circle. You guys are all supposed to be friends with each other. So there shouldn't be any private conversation and then y'all are on number two, y'all are on a freaking reality show. So eventually they're going to see what you had the conversation about. Um, and my thing is with a private conversation, I get it, it's your house, but you're in a very open area where anybody could walk in and hear that conversation. You are in your dining room. Now I can see it if you were in your bedroom with the door closed. Yes, that's a private conversation and she just opened your door. Like, if, you, if your dining room was one of those where you had sliding doors that you could close it, I would give Ramona that. But that's not the case. And Leah flipped out. She called Ramona, you know, um, she called Ramona a bitch. <laughs> and she was rude. And that's what, I, that's what I've been thinking about all night, thinking about is, was Ramona rude or wasn't she rude? To an extent, I do believe she was a little bit rude. Like I said, Leah did walk in on the conversation, but for her to say it's a private conversation, why not have it? Why not say to Luann, like, hey, I want to talk to you about Sonya. Let's go to my room real quick and have a conversation. You're in the dining room where anybody could walk in, where just, you know, where um, Michelle could walk. Michelle could have walked in. Like anybody could have walked in and heard that conversation. I mean, and, and the thing, the thing that got me was she saying it's a private conversation. But if you notice, the producer, the camera people kept showing us Sonya's upstairs, and I thought Sonya heard them. That's why I was like, how is this a private conversation when Sonya's upstairs walking, and she could possibly hear you guys talking? So how is this? A, how is this really a private conversation? Like, make that shit make sense to me. That's what threw me for a loop was she saying it's a private conversation. I tanned. Like, I'm really tanned right there where my watch is. That is really light. All right. But yeah, that's why I'm like, how's that a private conversation? But, you know, it is what it is. So then eventually, so then um, Ebony comes downstairs. And at this point, the conversation between Lou and Ramona is over. So, you know, Ramona's receptive to Ebony and Leah comes down. She's like, wait a minute. You spoke to Ebony. You're a freaking bitch, Ramona. I'm like, yeah, we all know that. So then Garb shows up. He works out with Ramona, Lou and Sonia. Eh, whatever. So Leah tells um, Ebony because she and Ebony are getting their makeup done. So she tells Ebony that she's taking a vowel silence until 6 p.m. So she won't be speaking to the ladies. So if the ladies want us to have a conversation with her, they can talk to Leah through um, Ebony. All right. Let's move on. All right, you guys. And then let's start to wrap the episode up. Now, this was a, I will say that this was a better episode than the previous episode. But nonetheless, the season is good to me. So the ladies, they're going oyster, short, or oyster shucking. So... They're in the um the sprinter, and they're talking. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm in agreement with now. I, you know, I'm actually in agreement when it comes with Sonya about Lou and Garth. That are no hearing about Garth is annoying. I'm just gonna keep it one thousand with you guys. 
listen to Lou talk about Garth was just like, oh my God, girl, we get it. He's hot. We get it. He's a good lay. We get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. Shut up about Garth. So then Luann and Sonya start talking about their men. <laughs> now, Luann, you lucky Sonya was a different person. Sonya's a different person than a lot of people I wouldn't, you know, because, I mean, who wants to sit there and hear that shit? So they talk about Tom and they talk about Harry. Now, when they were talking about Tom, I really wanted to, like, I really wanted somebody to check Lou. I'm glad that Ebony did eventually check Lou, but I really want somebody to check Lou hard about that whole Tom situation. Like, let's stop playing. He was my husband. And with you, he just had sex. He just fucked you. He just had sex with you. You were a booty call. I was just like, well, wow. Way to tell, I mean, that's your friend. And you sent her telling her she wasn't nothing but a piece of ass to the man. I'm like, really, Lou? But, um, and, and she's talking about he was my husband. Like, let, let's remember, how, how long was Luann and Tom married? They were married for a, a, a good second. They weren't even married a whole year, were they? Luann and Tom were not even married a full freaking year. Because Luann and Tom got married, and then they were divorced by the time she got arrested in Florida. By the time Luann and by the time Luann got um, arrested in Florida, she and Tom were long divorced, and that was in the same freaking year, wasn't it? Wasn't that the same, you guys? I, I can't remember, but I know that when she got arrested, she and Tom were long divorced. They were over at that point. So for you to sit there and say that was my husband and for you to sit there and play Sonya off like she was just a piece of ass to the man, that was fucked up. Like none of these guys were your guys. Well, if she, even if they were a booty call, they were still her guys. She had them first. So technically she is telling, she is right. Like that just, that was a low blow. Like telling her she was just nothing but a booty call and a one night stand. Like that was low. And like I said, I'm glad that Ebony checked that situation. Like, I'm really glad that Ebony stood up for her because that was fucked up. If you know, and, and that is, goes back to the conversation that Ramona was having with Luann about Sonya. Like, if you, and Luann, if you and Ramona just had that whole conversation about her, why would you then go and do that low blow? But whatever. So then, like I said, the ladies went oyster shucking. Honestly, that scene was boring to me. It was funny the fact that um, because we all know how much Ramona loves oysters and she saw them in their in their raw form and she didn't like it. And then she found out that, you know, the wholesale price is cheaper than the retail price, which is usually how it works. People wholesale things for no, sometimes it's actually the opposite. It depends on what they're selling. But she found out that the wholesale is a lot is a lot cheaper than the retail. Cause I think what they wholesale, I think that guy said that they wholesale for a dollar and they retail for, what, six dollars? Ooh, inflation. <laughs> they wholesale for a whole damn dollar. All right, guys, so then we see the ladies, they do leave, and they go get ready for dinner, and that's when Heather shows up. And Heather is going to be staying in the lower level. So then we see Luann. So when they all get together, Luann immediately starts the mess by asking Leah about her podcast. I'm like, oh, now see, I know, I don't know. I didn't tweet last night about it, but I don't know. I didn't see what people said because, you know, people had been going at Leah for the last few weeks. But in this episode, it wasn't Leah. It was Lou. Lou sparked that flame. So they go sit for dinner, and when they sit down, you know, Leah, that's her point. That's her time to talk about um, Heather's podcast. So they discuss Heather's podcast, and they discuss the fact that Heather said that Luann was on drugs. And Heather said that's not at all what that article says. That art, you know, that's sensational. That's to draw people in. But then Leah reads, you know, something from it. A, a little excerpt from it and she says I wasn't talking about Lou I was actually talking about my experience and Lou says well who was the guest she said it was Carol and Lewis says that bitch 
that bitch. Oh my god, the way she talked about Carol. Hmm. The way she talked about Carol. You know, it's so funny. It, it, I, when I think back about Carol from New York, Carol fell out with, I mean, Carol, because Carol was good friends with Bethany at one point, and then they got to that reunion, and Carol and Bethany were against each other. That's what I'm, because I remember, I remember that, that reunion that year. I'm like, they were friends throughout the season, but then at the reunion, they were not. But, um... And then Leo says, oh, I also found this. So in the article, it also says that she doesn't feel that Luann is genuine. She says, that's true. Luann was like, what? She says, yeah, that's my opinion. But she says, you know what? If it, if it offends you or hurts you in any way, I do apologize. I'm like, oh, okay. So then we find out that they're going to be doing nude painting the next day. And, you know, um, Heather asks, are we going to be painting um, Garth? And Luann is like, oh, no, we're not painting Garth. So then Leah and all the, see, here's the thing that gets me with Ramona. Ramona acts like she's, she's, I mean, she's such a prude when it comes to Leah or any, actually it's really Leah talking about dicks or vagina or anything like that. But here's my thing. It was just, what, an episode or two ago when y'all went out to dinner. Nope, that was last week's episode when y'all were at the bar when Ebony and Sonya were talking about big dicks. You don't have a problem with that. It's when, it's when it comes to Leah that you have a problem with anybody. With Leah, you have a problem with Leah talking about the human anatomy. Because in last week's episode, like I said, they were at the bar. You guys were sitting at a bar when Ramon, when, um, not Ramon, but Sonya and Ebony were talking about the fact that they don't, well, so, Sonya was talking about she doesn't like a big dick. It's it's, it's a nuisance. Like I'm on the pick and choose. You're picking and choose. Like you act like you've never taken a dick before. Like so those men that you've been going out on the dates with, you don't have sex with them at some point. I'm on to get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Like you act like a fucking prude. But you guys, that's the episode. Please let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. And share this video. Into the next one, you guys stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask or not, whichever one you choose to do. Please be safe in doing so. Also, you guys stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next one, which is going to be the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. All right, you guys, so I'm off of here. I'll see you guys later. Bye.